Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Chapter one. You said, what, when you first came up, what was your first question? You said, uh, how does somebody that's same-sex marriage, how they hate God or something like that, right? How they don't love God. So we're going to show you outside of the Bible because, again, this is what, what we reading. Alexius, what we reading. So if we read the Holy Bibles, we didn't write this. We're going to read it out of God's mouth. You understand? All right, give me that. Romans ch chapter 1, verse, start at verse 25. Okay. The book of Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Read up. For this, who changed the truth of God into a lie? So who changed the truth of God, give me truth, into a lie? Psalms 119, verse 142. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Because... Look at the earth we're in, right? Is this earth a good place or an evil place? It's evil. Do you think God wanted to be that way? Exactly, right? So somebody is lying. If for the earth to be evil the way it is, it's some lies going on, all right? So who changed the truth of God into a lie? You hear what God said? Read. So we're going to find out what is the truth first. Read on. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law. And thy what? And thy law is the truth. So, Alexia, did you hear what God just said? What was the truth? I need you to listen. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. And thy what? Thy law is the truth. And thy what? Thy law is the truth. So Alexia, what is the truth? The law. The law. Now, give me Leviticus 20 and 13. We're going to get the law. Because he said the law is the truth. Listen, remember the first scripture we read, it said who changed the truth of God into a lie, correct? So now we're going to get, then we showed you what was the truth. What is the truth? The law. So now we're going to get the law on same-sex marriage. Read Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Read it out. The book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Read it out. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, uh -huh. both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. You hear what God said? So we're going to read it again. We're going to read it real slow. Read it again for the sister because remember it said the, the laws is the truth, correct? According to the Bible, Alexia, stay with me. Okay, so we again we read the Holy Bible. God said that. What do you say? If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, so stop. It says if a man, like this man right here, hypothetically speaking, if he take himself and go lie with another man, he said it's an abomination. Right? Read. As he lieth with a woman. As he's supposed to lie down with a woman because a woman and a man lie down to, together creates some children, which is procreation, is how the generation continue to go. Are you with me? Read. Both of them. No, nah, one of them. Both of them. Just women. Both of them. Women and men. Both of them have committed an abomination. And they shall surely be put to death. So that's the judgment. So it's talking about man on man and woman on woman. Now let's go back to Romans again. Can we read, re read out of the Bible, sister? These is not our words, okay? 
So we got to understand these things and understand because two women lying down together, is that a procreation or a gift ge no generation? That's true. Uh, Absolutely. If you look at me and thinking in your head like you want to fuck me or she got a nice body, that's adultery. That's why God got, that's listen, no Alexia, you, you're correct, but listen, we gonna, that's why God commanded a woman to dress modestly so a man won't lust. But we, get, we, we, we not, we dealing, we gonna, we ain't gonna jump from topic to topic. We gonna deal with this one and we gonna nail it and then we can go to the next one. You with me? Read. The Romans. Chapter 1, verse 25. Bring it out. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the truth of God is his laws. So in today's, we just read the law on same-sex marriage. That is a lie. In today's in society, they say that what? It's okay, right? So who changed the truth of God into a lie? Today, this is not a godly place. Remember, we established that from the beginning. Read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Because when we go to our Christian church, we serve pastor more than what the Bible is saying. The creator wrote these, gave the holy man uh, the Bible to write it. You understand? We supposed to relish in this. We supposed to do what this say. Instead, we listen to what pastor say. Pastor give you a, a sermon, or pastor give you a, 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 a what is it called? Feel good a feel good message. And then while people go back into the regular lifestyle, committing sin. But it said, read it again. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who listen to pastor more than the Bible read? Who is blessed forever? Amen. For this cause. Since we listen to pastor or since we listen to society and not what the law just stated, read. For this cause. God gave them up unto vile affections for even their women did change the natural use. So what is the natural use of a woman, Alexia? To produce. To produce, to, produce, to bring forth children. Yeah. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So woman on woman is against nature. God said he give you, since you want to walk like that, I'm going to give you up to your own lust. Bring it out. You understand? Because the right way God gave you the law already. If you don't want to do what I say, now you got to, you know what I mean? Now you, that's why you see what you uh, see go, got going on today. You know what I mean? Uh, homosexuality. Now you got what? Uh, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea. You understand? Different things of that nature. God said that. What was that? Single family households, illegitimate children. Read. And likewise also the men. And likewise also the men. Read on. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Burn in their lust one toward another. Men with men, working that which is unseemly. So you hear what God said, same sex, uh, same sex uh, marriage is, or same man on man, woman on woman is what? Unseemly. That's yes, unproductive. Right. That's against God. God don't like that and actually he hates it. Right, That's right. You understand that? And if you partake in that lifestyle, you hate God. Right. It's yeah. vice versa. You understand that? You might not didn't know this was in the Bible, okay? Give me Titus 3 and, huh? You knew that was in the Bible? So, but, you read the Bible? Okay, so, but the thing about it is we have to apply the Bible day to day. Finish that out then and give me uh, Baruch 4 and 28. Read. Men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was me. So, receiving, read that part again, excuse me. And receiving in themselves that recompense. So, receiving in themselves that judgment, read. Of their error, of their sin, which was me, which was righteous, because the commandment. Now, when you go back to the law, it said what? A man should not lie with man, a woman should lie with woman. The judgment is death. So, if you continue to walk in that lifestyle, God said what? You 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 obtain, you got death awaits you. You understand that? So, it's not talking about this death. It's talking about uh, the second death. Give me uh, uh, Revelations 20 where it talks about the abominable and all shall be uh, burnt in the second death. Bring this is home. good, sister, because remember it said it was an abomination, correct? So now we're going to get the judgment. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 8. Bring it out. But the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable. And the what? The abominable. And the what? Abominable. Same-sex marriage. Read. And murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters notice god got all these lined up in the same category because it all equals the same thing read 
and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. So you're going to have your part in the lake of fire. Read. Which is the second death? Talking about when God give you the judgment, when the second, when the books is open, when he judge your life and what you did, you understand? When he judge your life when you was here on this earth, he gonna say, you know what, Alexia, since you, the prophets gave you my word, you, you choose to turn away from it, lake of fire, you go for the rest of eternity, your soul burning forever. You understand what God is trying to convey to you? So what, what, what should you do? You should live righteously, right? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.